What's up guys and welcome back to the Emacs USA channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to take your RTF or your BNF and adjust the rates on here so you can either up them and make them go higher so you have faster flips and rolls or if you want a more docile quad than what our factory settings are how to lower those rates and you guys can feel more confident when you're flying. So let's hop right into this video. Now the first thing you're going to need is a computer that can run the Betaflight configurator, obviously your drone, either RTF or BNF, and a USB cable to plug your drone into the computer. Once you have all that, you're going to go ahead and find the Betaflight configurator. And the way to find the Betaflight configurator if you don't already have it installed is to go to Emacs USA. And under EmacsUSA.com, you'll see up top there is customer support. You're going to go ahead and click that button. And this is going to pop up our support page. And in the support page, you're going to have a little bit about the warranty returns. We don't really care about that right now. We want to know about our Emacs knowledge base. So if you see right here, it says Emacs knowledge base, manual, CLI, dumps, and more. And we're going to hit explore now. And once you're in our Emacs knowledge base, you're going to find everything you need here. So manuals, CLI dumps, little tips and tricks. But what we want to find out is where to download the Betaflight configurator for your model. So you're going to go ahead and find your model there and it'll tell you what Betaflight configurator that you should install. And if you guys have a newer one installed right now, that will still adjust the rates. But if you're uploading firmware or CLI commands, you may have to use an older model of the Betaflight configurator. So I just suggest to go here and find out exactly which Betaflight configurator that you should use with your firmware and the model that you're using. Now, once you have the Betaflight configurator downloaded, you can go ahead and open that up. Then you're going to take your Emacs model, which mine here is the NanoHawk, and I'm going to plug the USB into my NanoHawk right now. Then I'm going to take the other end and plug it into the computer. Now once you plug it in, your computer should recognize it. And if you look at the drop down menu up top, it's going to change depending if you're using Mac or PC. Since I'm using Mac, it changes from a Bluetooth port to a USB modem. That's telling me that I know it's connected on the computer. And if you're using a PC, it's going to change to some kind of COM port. So once you see that your computer is established communication with the drone, you can go ahead and hit the connect button. And now we're into our drone's flight controller. Now the thing we're going to be working on is our rates. So to get to your rates, you're going to want to go to the PID tuning tab on the left. And once there, it's going to pop up a window and it's your PID profile settings. And we're not going to worry about that because the drones that come from the Emacs factory are already PID tuned and all the settings are set up. We're just worried about the rates. So we're going to go over to the other tab that says rate profile settings. Now once here, you're going to only mess with a couple different values here. And I'm not going to get into the specifics of these and break them down and explain exactly what they are to you. There's tons of videos on YouTube if you want to go out and learn more about your rates. So under here, you'll see that there's RC rate, super rate and RC expo. And all of these kind of work together with your stick feel on your transmitter. Now the two that I usually mess with are RC rate and super rate. Now super rate is going to give you kind of a curved line. So if you look in this rate preview down here, you'll see from the factory that we already have a super rate curve on there. You can see it curves and it's not a linear line. If you wanted it to be more of a linear line so your full stick deflection is the same all the way across, you would go ahead and get rid of the super rate and put it to zero and that gives the line a little bit more of a linear curve but i'm going to go ahead and put it back to 0.6 and you'll notice the curve change again so one of the main things you can look at is this final column over here it's going to be your degrees your max degrees and that's going to be how fast it's going to spin doing flips or rolls and you'll notice from the factory on the nanohawk that it's at 397. And if it's a little bit too twitchy, you're gonna wanna mess around with your RC rate or your super rate, and you're gonna wanna lower that down. So if you go ahead and hit this little down button, you can see that the red line actually is going down in degrees. And this is gonna make your access, whichever one you're adjusting, slower. Now, if you wanted to, to flip faster or roll faster, you're gonna wanna go ahead and bring that up. 
and you'll notice that it's gonna start going up faster and faster. Now, me personally, the rates that we have from the factory, I think they're really good, and for any beginner pilot out there, I think you're gonna be fine with those, and you might wanna just learn and try to get used to those. But don't be afraid to go ahead and hop in here and adjust it. So if you think that it's too slow or too fast, go in here and adjust the numbers and really find the rate that better suits you. All right guys, and that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I just wanna hop in really quick and show you guys where you need to go to adjust your rates. And if you guys wanna know more about this, make sure to go check out some other YouTubers. But I wanted to keep it pretty simple for you guys out there and just show you where you need to go to adjust them. And as always guys, hit that subscribe and notification bell, that way you're staying up to date on videos like this. But until the next one guys, I'll catch you later.